With data sets growing exponentially larger as companies begin amassing huge amounts of data for training their AI applications, costs for maintaining a data center rise exponentially as well. One way to rein in those costs is to deploy virtual machines using a hypervisor to maximize the investment in server hardware. However, even hypervisor licensing has become more expensive, leading to the search for alternatives that still provide the needed functionality. HPE VM Essentials is a KVM-based virtualization solution that allows management of both its own virtual machines as well as VMware-based deployments in a single interface. Features include clustered high availability, distributed workload placement, and built-in snapshot-based protection. HPE VM Essentials also offers a seamless upgrade path to the Morpheus Enterprise Class Virtualization Platform. Morpheus adds support for containerization management, additional hypervisor options, and orchestration of the HPE Private Cloud portfolio of solutions. In this video, we will examine the options for deploying one of the leading database applications for managing AI datasets, MongoDB, using the new HPE VM Essentials hypervisor solution. We'll talk about why MongoDB is so popular amongst AI developers and how HPE VM Essentials can provide a compelling virtualization platform for creating and maintaining a hypervised MongoDB environment. MongoDB's flexible document store data model allows many diverse types of data to be stored together. Whether it is CSV files, videos, JPEGs, or music files, MongoDB has the capability to store and catalog them all to simplify the dataset collection for AI training. Its distributed architecture allows AI datasets to be housed separately from more traditional data, but still be managed in one database instance. Its hybrid cloud capability can have test data deployed in the cloud, while more sensitive data remains on premises, to match customer requirements while still maintaining ease of management. One of the challenges in managing a growing MongoDB deployment is when a simple cluster or replica set needs to be expanded into a sharded cluster. Suddenly, a small replica set of just a few nodes morphs into a much larger node count with multiple clusters all within the same MongoDB configuration. HPE VM Essentials can help MongoDB admins organize their sharded clusters by dividing up the shard clusters into separate VM Essentials instances. With the capability to deploy new shard clusters all at once, MongoDB can grow as it needs to while simplifying the expansion process. The HPE VM Essentials platform offers multiple options for deploying a MongoDB cluster. To illustrate, we're now going to show you a quick demo showing one of those options, using a virtual image of a VM to deploy a new MongoDB replica set cluster using HPE VM Essentials. All right, we'll begin this demonstration at the VM Essentials main page, the dashboard. We have created a golden image of a virtual machine in our virtual images library labeled MongoDB image. We've installed CentOS on it. We've uh, made all the necessary operating system adjustments that MongoDB requires, and we've actually installed the software and got it up and running. So we then saved off this virtual machine as a virtual image, placed it in our library so that we can use this to build our a cluster of MongoDB virtual machines. So to do that, we go into provisioning and we click on instances. And then we'll click add. This is gonna be an HPE virtual machine as opposed to VMware. So we will click next. And then we'll choose the appropriate group, which is the list of resources available to me as a user. Uh, and the particular cloud. Uh, this could be a VM Essentials cluster or a vCenter instance, um, depending upon where you're going to do your work. Uh, we're going to, of course, use VM Essentials here. I'm going to give the instance a name. We'll call it Demo Cluster. Okay. Uh, you can select an environment if you want to. That's just a labeling thing. Uh, but we don't need to do that. So let's go forward and click next. Okay, so this is where you provision your virtual machines. Uh, we want each one of ours to have four CPUs and 32 gigs of memory. We're going to use the cluster 
uh, that we have assigned to us in the resource pool. We're going to add a couple of additional volumes other than the root volume because MongoDB prefers its data to be on one volume and its journals to be on a second volume and obviously separate from the root volume. So we'll add a couple there. Uh, we'll choose from the available networks. We only have the one in this demo environment. And then we will select that golden image that we showed you earlier. We can pick which host we want our virtual machines to reside on, or we can just let them be dynamically selected by the uh, instance process. Don't need any users because we've already configured users in the operating system. But under advanced options, we are going to want to adjust the scale factor. Uh, we want three virtual machines created for this instance, so we're going to up the scale factor to three. Uh, all of our host names will be demo cluster. Uh, the first one will be demo cluster, the, uh, the next one will be demo cluster one, and then demo cluster two for the third one. Uh, we'll choose, we can choose domains or time zones or add ports if we need to, but again, we've already set this up in the golden image, so we don't need anything here. But we also want to check this box to attach the Vert IO drivers. Vert IO drivers are what VM Essentials virtual machines use to process IO and we have uh, definitely uh, want those to be installed when we uh, create our virtual machines. So we'll click next. And then if we had any scripts we wanted to run post-production to, I don't know, for example, uh, configure MongoDB uh, to create the replica set and add the new nodes to the replica set, we could add that script here. And we could also add snapshot backups of our virtual machines if we choose to, uh, but for this demo, we're not gonna worry about that. So we will move on. And finally, you get a synopsis, make sure everything is correct for what you wanna do. And then as an additional option, if we were, for example, going to create a uh, sharded cluster, which uh, consists of multiple replica sets, uh, for your uh, for your MongoDB uh, deployment, we might use this option here and create multiple copies of this instance. Since we've got a replica set that we're going to create, we can create multiple more um, replica sets using this copies function. But we're just doing a replica set, not a sharded cluster, so we only need the three virtual machines we're going to do. So we now click complete to start the process. And this will continue on. We'll scroll down here to take a look at our setup. And you see it's uh, the status is provisioning. That's what the little rocket ship shows you. And then if we go into the instance, we can see that the virtual machines are being built. And we're not going to stay and watch this whole process. Uh, you see it's got a, an approximation of how long it's going to take to build these virtual machines. Uh, one thing that I did want to point out here was uh, if you want more detail about what's going on uh, in VM Essentials as this is happening, click the history uh, tab and you can see detail about everything that's being executed. This is especially helpful if something goes wrong and you need to troubleshoot. It gives very detailed information about what step it was at when something failed so you know where to start your troubleshooting. Uh, but we're just going to let this finish up and then we'll come back when it's done and show you everything that we have. Okay, we're back and as you can see, the instance creation is complete. We have our three virtual machines and if we come over here, I will bring in the uh, terminal for our primary node and you can see that the cluster uh, the replica set cluster is up and running and we have secondary node secondary node and our primary node and everything is ready and complete so we have just built a three node mongodb replica set in hpe vm essentials the simplicity and versatility of the HPE VM Essentials hypervisor platform makes quick, efficient buildouts of MongoDB clusters. 
Its organizational structure and interface allows MongoDB administrators to easily deploy and manage the cluster environment as its needs grow. With support for managing VMware environments alongside the VM Essentials VMs, any existing hypervised MongoDB clusters can be managed in the same interface as the new VM Essentials deployments. And as the feature set grows for VM Essentials, customers will reap the advantages of being able to maintain and grow all of their virtualized applications from a single platform, whether in the cloud or in the data center. Thanks very much for watching.